Hi guys. Don't look. Hi guys. Go. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, I cannot decide on money and I look like <laughs> shit. But it's okay. Welcome back. So my name is Dante. I'm here to entertain y'all. And I'm going to tell you guys a story about the time Markville Mall, the robbery. I was there. I was a victim. And we're going we're gonna to tell this story. We're going to tell my point. I have a couple points on this. December 30th, 2018. I got to work. You know, same old shit. I work at Roots. Then I get on cash. The line's not too bad. We're just we're just trying to help out. We can just leave early, get the hell out. My manager, the manager switched, and we're gonna call her Emma. So Emma was like, okay, like we need to hurry up and clean up because I want to go home and get a glass of red. I'm like punch people in. I'm like, do you need a gift receipt? Like hurry up. I'm like, get the bag. What? So as I'm cashing out the next customer, I'm folding everything up, and all of a sudden I hear. And I'm like, once in a while in the mall, there's always like a kid screaming or you know, sometimes you hear a loud bang like that because someone dropped something. So at first I was just like, whatever, I'm like, let's continue. I'm like, ma'am, what's your email? And all of a sudden, a crowd of people start like running and screaming past the store. And I'm like, at that moment in my head, it registered, I am going to die. I'm like, I don't know why that was the first thought, but I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die while I'm working minimum wage. It was wrong for me to assume there's a shooting, but seeing as this year has been very eventful in America, I'm like, oh my god, like, here it is. And I'm like, you know what? I needed a good nap, a permanent dirt nap. There were two new employees were at the front of the door. I was the first one to see the people running because they were on my left hand side. And I'm like, oh my god, shut the door! I took over that shit. I was like, I was on it, okay? I should be like CSI or something. Miami Vice, I should be in that. FBI, hello, I'm here. Call the police! I don't know why, but I just handled the situation so well. I continued to usher everybody. I was like, everybody remain calm. I don't know why I said that. That was such a retail bullshit <laughs> thing to say. We're in the back of the store in the kids section, hiding behind two tables where we keep all the sweaters. So at this point, go run and tell Emma. I'm like, Emma, there's some shit going down. We are in lockdown mode. And she's like, okay. Earlier that day, I learned how to call a different location to the store for a hold. And before I pressed the button to get to that store, it was the button that to call security. If it wasn't for that call, I we wouldn't have known what was going on and wouldn't have been able to call security. Emma called up security. I told her how to do it. She called it up and what they told us. So there's a jewelry store seven doors down. They told us there was a armed robbery and we don't know if there was a gun or not. That's what they literally told us. I was just like, give me a panic room. Emma's like, okay, customers, you can leave, but it's not our guarantee. Leave? I'm like, uh, I am not opening the door, sweetie. Emma was so calm during all of this. Emma was walking to close the door like... Everybody remain calm. And I was like, oh my god, I'm like, everybody remain calm. I'm like, in the back. I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Are you running? I just was not having it. Whenever I'm in a situ- I, I always tell myself, if I'm ever in a situation like this, I get the hell out. But I had no choice because we just locked the door. I'm like, you know what, let's just stay inside. I knew we had a back door. So I'm like, why don't we use the back door if some shit comes down? So we're all like in the corner. And there's people still shopping. Um, we are under evacuation. All the stores across, they were closing. Emma was like, mmm. It seems like they got it under control. Like, I'm sure we can... We were closing in 30 minutes. And she's like, I think we can, like, continue again. I'm like... Bitch, what? Oh, my God. I can't with these people. And she made us go back and cash. Finally checked out one more person. Then Emma was like, uh, call again. I pressed, you know, how I usually do call security. I learned that day. It wasn't working. So I went to go tell the employees in the front. And them, too. They were both in front of the door looking down to see what happened. See, if... It was a regular store across this, across from us is Uniqlo, and they have like the traditional 
closing door that you lock. It's like a grid, right? And they were, I have never seen them slide that shit so fast. They're like, they're like, they're like, uh uh, we're out. But the reason I was so scared is because the roots at our location, again, the lights going down because it's getting scary. It's all, it's basically like a wood border with glass in between. If they are armed, it takes one shot and we're done. That's it. Bonito. What are you guys standing here for? And they're like, oh my god, like, we're, this is so exciting. Like, this has never happened in Markham. I'm like, I know, this has never happened in Markham, which is why exactly we just stay the hell away from the door because this <coughs> don't usually happen in Markham. This finally, <coughs> goes around me to call security. And the calls, we need everyone to evacuate. And I'm like, as soon as I heard the eva, I'm like, okay. Have a nice day. I don't give a fuck about anybody. I'm getting the hell out. And Emma's like, okay, go get your stuff. Let's get the fuck out. And I'm like, great. I'm like, so we're using the back door, right? Now you're going to use your nearest exit. Okay. I, you're telling me I have to go out. I mean, thank God we were right beside an exit. But I was like, you know, telling me I got to go risk my life to walk around a damn piece of glass to get through the exit door. All the customers are like so confused. Wait, where y'all going? As soon as I walk out, this lady pulls my shoulder and she's like, uh, excuse me. She's like, I have an online order. I really need my online order for tomorrow. Like, can you go get it? <laughs> Ma'am, we're evacuating. And she's like, um, I still need my order. I'm like, ma'am, we are evacuating. But let me tell you, I was so disgusted with humanity that night. Like, you're telling me there, you know there's a possible armed robbery. You had just had a lockdown, and you were told to evacuate, and you're worried about your size 4 salt and pepper pants. I bolt out that door. I don't care who is in my way. Get out. I'm coming. The buffalo is here. Move it. You know that scene in The Lion King where the buffalo is running down the hill? That was my house, okay? Simba, watch out. So then I'm calling my mom. And I'm like, let me get my phone for dramatic role play. So I'm like, mom, they were at a friend's and family's house. Thank God they were on the way home. Mom, be quiet. Like, you need to listen to me right now. It's like some James Bond, right? My family's like really loud when they're in the car. My dad and my sister, you could hear them in the back perfectly clear. And my mom was like, everybody shut the fuck up. And there was an armed robbery getting the hell out. I have a friend who lives like right near across from the mall, like the, in one of the apartment buildings. I'm walking to their house. He's like, oh my God, okay, run. Be safe. Look behind you. I'm like, of course. So me and my other coworker, we're going to call her Sarah. We both well, well, first we ran. Like we, did, we did a light job. When I got outside, there were cop cars. Seemed like it was under control, but I wasn't taking any chances, so we did a light jog. So we're jogging the crosswalk to McDonald's. So I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of the process of calling. I'm um, like my friend. I'm like hello. They're not picking up. Of course, my luck. Then I call my aunt. They're not picking up. Of course. Then I call my grandparents. They're not picking up. Call like literally every fucking <coughs> person in my contact list, and no one answers. Then I text my mom. She not answering. And I'm like, okay, I love a panic attack. Finally, my mom texts me. She's like, we're on our way. We're at the McDonald's. And I'm like, okay, thank God. I get in. I tell them the whole story. I go home and I had, you know what? Like Emma, I had a glass of red. But the only difference is that I deserve it. But then they completely over-exaggerated it. And I completely over-exaggerated it through my mind subconsciously. Basically, it was three people wearing construction vests who came and with two sledgehammers and they were knocking the glass in the front of the store which is why we heard the big bangs, right? Are you kidding me after all this? But how can you not re- like it's hard to stay calm in those situations but I think I handled myself pretty well. Actually video surveillance on Twitter. Yeah, pick it, pick it. Oh my god. Oh my god. And they stole like everything. Like, every piece of jewelry, they stole everything, which is really tragic. That's it, I'm going to bed, like, I'm done with this. And that's the story. And all I could think was, this is gonna make a great YouTube video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I hope it was fun to watch. And when in doubt, when you're in a situation like this, get the hell out, and don't rely on the Emmas of the world, okay? Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.